Hello, it is Tay here from Crosshair Games X bringing you a little something something. A little show off of my Necros Gishki build. And this is very incomplete, way different from the one I actually use in real life. Uh, a good example is the single manjo of the t uh, 6,000 hands, or what is it? Yeah, 10,000 hands, not 6,000. But, I mean, I mean, I have cards that I do not use. I mean, I do not use Brionek. I do not use Unicor, and I do not use Manju. Well, otherwise, I use the other cards here and there. I could take out a couple, like Gishki Marker. But basically, the goal of this deck is to get Zogigas and pelt him out. But there's an awesome little trick to this deck that I like to use as well, other than having Decisive Armor or Zogigas. Having both Zogigas and Decisive Armor out as quickly as possible is possible. And it is deadly. Of course you can get Zogigas out as fast as you want. Mind August is alright. I always have Mind August in a, a Gishki deck. I mean, it's a, it's a given. I mean, that's a pretty OP effect. But what you want to do is get that Aqua Mirror out. And get Zogigas out as quickly as possible using any of these effects. The cool thing about Kishki Chain is that you could use it for um, any ritual monster or any ritual spell card. So that also ties in with the Necros. These are given for, uh, you know, when this deck's being slow, you want to you wanna get that stuff out uh, in your hand as, as quickly as possible while you have Swords of Revealing that out. Manju helps a bit. You can't use pre-preparation of uh, rights in this deck. Gishki Vanity's here. He's okay. I just have him um, for his effect. But basically, the goal of this deck is to get Zelkigus and Decisive Armor out and have Sukuyomi in the hands. And this is something I made up called the Sukuyomi Lock. It is great. So everyone knows that Sukuyomi um, you put her out on the field, she flips a card face down, and at the end phase, she goes right back in your hand. Probably one of my favorite artworks, one of my favorite cards of all time, just because, I mean, I'm attached to her. I use her in so many decks at one point, but now she's here for this build. Um, so you got Zelgigas, Decisive Armor, and Sukuyomi out. This is the Sukuyomi lock, something I made up. Necros of Decisive Armor once per turn, you could actually destroy a set card, so they have to be face down. Zelgigas, you pay a thousand, draw a card, and if it's a Gishki card, which the vast majority of these cards are, uh, you get to put a card on the opposite side of the field uh, back into the opponent's deck. Uh, so you, you get this out, use this, put whatever card they have maybe in the backfield, and if, I mean, if they have a card already face down on the field, use this guy. But if the, I mean, if they have a face up, like, 4,000 cards, say it was like, I mean, they buffed up their, uh, fucking blue eyes or something past 3,300, you've got Sukuyomi to flip them face down and Necros to destroy it. And this just repeats because she goes right back into your hand. And that's my explanation of my Necros Gishi deck. Thanks, guys.